today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create the portrait text effect in Affinity Photo. Roll the intro. No, 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 no. Not this one, the new one. Let's go. What's up y'all, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here, my name is Rens, I'm a digital artist from the Netherlands and I would love to hear your opinion on my new intro because honestly I spent quite some hours creating this. Anyways, for this portrait text effect obviously we're gonna need a portrait. So I searched the internet and then I found this photo of Keanu Reeves and he is a famous actor and actually is also known as being the nicest guy of Hollywood. I personally haven't watched any single one of his movies and that is mainly because I barely watch movies so I picked one of his quotes which I really really resonated with and then I decided to apply this awesome text effect to his portrait. Alright let's jump right into Affinity Photo and let me show you how this is done. Alright so the first thing that I want to do is I want to resize his picture so that actually his face covers the whole canvas. So let me select the Keanu Reeves portrait layer and let's select the move tool and let's hold command and let's click and drag so that we can resize and scale this thing. Now the next thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that his face is in exactly in the middle of our canvas and we're gonna use guides for this. So you can see that I have my rulers on the side of my canvas let's say. If you don't see your rulers simply press command R or control R depending on your operating system to activate your rulers. Now to drag a guide from your ruler you simply select the move tool and you click and drag onto your canvas and as you can see I'm dragging my guides right over here and it actually will snap to the middle of my canvas and that is because I have snapping turned on. Now if it doesn't really snap to the middle of your canvas hit this little arrow icon and make sure that snap to spread and include spread midpoints are both checked. And now I'm sure that it's exactly in the middle of our canvas. Alright, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to rasterize this photo and that is because I want to put the left side of his face on one layer and the right side of his face on its own layer and that is simply not possible when we are using image layers. So I'm gonna right click on the Keanu portrait layer and I'm gonna rasterize and trim it. So now you can see it turned from an image layer into a pixel layer. So what I can do right now is press M on the keyboard to select my marquee tool and I'm simply gonna click and drag a nice selection and I'm gonna snap it to the middle of our screen. So if I press command J right now, I will have the right side of his face on its own layer. Now to reload this selection, I'm gonna hold command and click this uh, little thumbnail. So now you can see I've reselected the right side of the canvas and I'm simply gonna invert my selection so that we switch the selection from the right side to the left side. So I'm gonna press command shift I to invert my selection. I'm gonna select my Keanu portrait layer and I'm gonna press command J once again. And now you can see that I also have the left side of his face on its own layer. So let's rename this left and rename this one right. Now the next thing that I want to do is I want to create a background. So let's actually hide both of these layers and I'm gonna create a background using a fill layer. So let's go up to the menu bar, let's click on layer and let's click on new fill layer. Now by default it's gonna be a white solid color fill layer but this is something we don't want. We actually do want a radial gradient so I'm gonna go to the context toolbar I'm gonna change the type from solid to radial and now it basically looks like it just turned gray but you can see that if I go to the middle of our canvas you can see that my cursor actually snapped to the middle and if I click and drag from the inside out now you can see that we actually create a really nice radial gradient. Now I want to make sure that the inside is pretty white and the outside can be a little bit darker so I'm gonna select my right side handle, I'm gonna double click my color picker and I'm gonna go to my luminosity value and I'm just gonna decrease it to about 28 or something. So this looks pretty good to me and now I can close it. Now I can rename this thing background and the beautiful thing about a fill layer is that I can always go back into this fill layer and select my gradient tool and tweak it however I like. And this is something that is not possible with a pixel layer. So if you use it for a background, make sure to use a fill layer. Now, of course it is the background, so I want it to be all the way at the bottom of my layers panel. And now we can show both layers again. 
All right, so the next step that I want to do is I want to type in the quote. Now, I don't want to use the artistic text tool in this case. I want to use the frame text tool. If you cannot find it and you only see this one, simply click and hold and then select the frame text tool. And I will create a box from the top left to the bottom right, let's say, but only until the middle of the screen. So something like this. Keanu Reeves has a really awesome quote and that is I don't want to be part of a world where being kind is a weakness. So let me type this in and you can basically not see that I'm typing anything but I do actually really really small but it's right over here. Let's zoom out a little bit or maybe just increase the font size to something bigger so maybe 72. All right, now, of course, there are a couple of things that we have to change in order to create this awesome effect. Now, the first thing that I want to change is the font. So I don't want it to be Arial. I want to change the font to Impact. So let's click right over here and let's select Impact. All right, the second thing that I want to change to make it look even better, and that is to create the right font size. Now, I figured out for this case, the font size of 380 looks best. Now, of course, it still looks a little bit too big and that is because we have to make a couple of more changes. And for that, we're gonna go into our character panel. Mine is right over here. But if you cannot find yours, simply go to the top, go to the menu and select view, go to studio and make sure character is checked. Now, the first thing that I want to make sure is that we are all caps. So I want to use only capital letters. So we scroll down a little bit and I'm going to hit this little TT icon, which says all caps. So let's click that one right now. And the second thing or the next thing that I want to change is the tracking value. So tracking is basically the distance between every character, let's say. So I want to change my character value to minus 20. So basically what this does is it brings the characters a little bit closer near each other. The next thing that I want to change is the leading override. So this is basically the spacing between the different lines. And I want to be my leading override to be 312.5. This is just a value that I figured works very well in this case. And now I want to change the last thing, which is the horizontal scale. And I want to change this from 100% to 64%. Now, of course, you can see it's still aligned to the left side of my frame. And I want to align it to the right side. So I'm going to go to my context toolbar and I'm going to click this little icon to align it to the right side. All right, so now we have the text in place. Now it's time to mask it out of the face, let's say. So how to do this? And this is actually pretty simple. I'm going to click let's rename this quote i'm gonna click my quote layer and i'm simply gonna drag it to the right side of the thumbnail of the left face let's say we are not really done yet because we can enhance this effect even better and that is by creating a really tiny small outline and some drop shadow on our quote so how to do this i want to make a duplicate of the quote so i select the quote layer and i press command j to create a duplicate and this duplicate i want to drag outside of the left layer let's say so now it's on its own layer so now i basically have this text behind the masked text so with this layer in place i can go to my fx panel and i want to select the outer shadow and I want to zoom in a little bit and now I want to change the radius to just a little higher, maybe one pixel to set the offset to seven pixels. And I think the intensity at 0% is pretty fine. Maybe the offset a little further and the radius of one pixel, maybe more. Let's go for around six pixels. Now, the next thing that I want to add is a little tiny little outline just because it gives this nice popping effect. So we go to outline and let's select it and I'm going to add a radius of maybe one pixel. So if we zoom in, you can see this is the before and this is the after. So if I close it and I zoom out, you can see that we have this really nice popping text effect. Now, if you want to learn more portrait photo manipulations, then I highly recommend you to check out this video because in this video, I will explain you how to face paint any portrait. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like. And of course, as always, smash that subscribe button if you love my content overall. It would mean the world to me. And then I see you in my next video. Ciao, ciao.